Things you never hear in a school assembly. And to those of you who wrote Mr. Ferguson's mobile telephone number on the wall of the girl's toilet, he would like to make it clear that the last digit is a five and not a three. <laughs> And now, continuing our policy of religious diversity, <laughs> we are going to sacrifice a goat to the great god Imhotep. <laughs> Oof, dead man, he come. <laughs> he says school not good. <laughs> <laughs> Now, children, I know it's very, very nerve-wracking awaiting your results, but I've got some good news. My results are back. It's all clear. <laughs> Wasn't chlamydia. Miss Lyons is back in the saddle. <laughs> uh, just a heads up for today's uh, science exam, you will be required to create a vacuum. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure. the bar. I was just trying to as many of you know, uh, this school has produced a lot of good actors. You know, parents who pretended to go to church in order to get their children into the school. <laughs> I will now read the register, and hopefully there are no more teachers on it. <laughs> Today is, of course, the big school outing, and so I'd like to invite all the gay and lesbian children to come to the front immediately. <laughs> And now, a notice about school uniform. Uh, my wife will be wearing one this evening, as it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and the caretaker has asked me to say, take care. <laughs> <laughs> we have very strict rules on piercings. Only one kind is allowed. Jerome, show them your cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> Students, I would advise you uh, to sometimes just think about people less fortunate than you, cos uh, I always find it cheers me up. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking, smoking, fighting, these are all three reasons for me to be very tired today. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to apologise for those students who saw that. Miss Jones has horribly misunderstood what Mufti Day means. <laughs> In an attempt to move with the times, Mrs Smith is going to lead us in the rendition of Onward Christian Soldiers to the tune of Stormzy's Big For Your Boots. <laughs> As you know, I'm retiring after 40 years of teaching at this school, and this week, you boys have made me realise that I've absolutely fucking wasted my life. 